Well, let's come to this now. Togolza residents are vowing to disrupt learning at a Togolza high school. This follows the death of a grade 10 pupil. The community believes the child died at the hands of a teacher. Gauteng MEC Madume Chilwane says an independent law firm may be appointed to probe the death. ENC reporter, that's Puleli Shwiti Jones, is in Togolza for us and joins us now to give us an update. Uh, Pule, good morning to you, uh, colleague, giving us an update on this uh, tragic story. But perhaps some context first. What exactly happened? Uh, with the death surrounding this great 10 people. Yeah, for now, we're standing outside the Mushebuzile Secondary School in Togoza, just like you rightfully said. Uh, we understand the allegations of a 20 year old um, young girl who allegedly um, collapsed after um, she received severe punishment from a teacher in which they were forced to actually run around um, within the school premises. Uh, we understand that the community members as well have been quite upset by that incident which took place on Thursday. But just to get a bit of context as well, we're going to be speaking to a community leader and the uncle of the little girl. Um, Baba, thank you very much for joining us, uh, Mr. Welcome. Now, you're here with the group of uh, parents and residents who are angry about what happened on Thursday. Maybe if you can just give us a bit of context uh, oh, as a community, how do you feel about this? Mohamed Bouli said that I don't As I feel I'm not because as he has risen, he's been done. As he's been done, he's been done, he's been done, he's been done. Punishment. So we are not sure what we can do. We want to know what we can do. And the community are not going to do it. the community is not going to do it. As on priority, what uh, step of action would you be taking next now? In the science, we need to be able to do it. 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 And then from there, we need to be able to do it. In a nutshell, to Melo, what uh, one of the community leaders is saying is that they want uh, accountabilities and they're still seeking for answers as well. Hopefully, the management or the SGB of the school may clarify them in terms of what happened um, when that little girl uh, passed on uh, here at the school premises. But I'm also going to be speaking to the uncle as well, who joins me um, now on the ENC this morning. Bob Sipo, thank you very, very much for making time to speak to us. As the family, um, how do you feel after such a tragic incident took place? La Pescolue. Mm. Mobile, <laughs> Manje iskola zang mati pa zunzi zangu counseling zang mati pa zunjel ni pendo lugo tii wenza gele and and what's the way forward? Sisi kusola eh Thursday ufuwa egasi zila eh u prisi pala agaza velexi zisi just hisha eh agaza velexi zisi be kuma amani eh eh amati shad even na le sebe zile le le ekaira pan. Uchasi <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Dumelo. What we're getting from the uncle here is that um, they still want answers from the school as to what happened uh, pertaining to the incident that transpired here, which saw um, the 20 year old little girl losing her life. We understand that the mum, the mother of the little girl, is also quite upset, not feeling well. I mean, a parent, you know, you can, as a parent, you can understand that you know you bring your child to school for learning and not for your child not to come back to school. It seems as though there will be camping outside the school um, for. 
several couple of hours until they get the responses that they need. I spoke to the Department of uh, Harting Education earlier on who said that they would be making way here at the school. Perhaps let me just ask my colleague Dibu Masila to show you uh, what we are seeing at the school right now is that uh, there is a vehicle of the Metropolis Department. But most importantly as well, it seems as though there has been security that has been called in to beef up the school premises as well to ensure that uh, the situation does not spiral um, out of control. We're still waiting for answers from uh, the principal here um, at the school. Hopefully will be giving us an update as to what is the next step going forward. However, on my right hand side, you can see just on the other side of the road, it's just the grief parents who are hoping that they can finally uh, get answers to the situation and hopefully that the school lessons be suspended for now pending the outcome of the investigation and pending the outcome of there being clarity and answers to what actually transpired uh, that led to this uh, tragic death that took place on Thursday. Now, indeed, Bude, and understandably, the family needing closure, answers and justice to be served for their child. We'll be sure, a colleague, to come back to you as soon as there are other developments, of course, around this tragic story, a great 10 people having lost their lives. And, of course, as you can see, the community members uh, protesting just outside of the school, uh, wanting some answers, not only from law enforcement, but also uh, from the school and the MEC of uh, Education in Gauteng, Madhuma Chiluan, expected, of course, to arrive.